upcoming double a legion baseball state tournament now tonight's matchups with minot will go a long way to determining who will get that spot the gubs would open the scoring bottom of the first inning carter krueger will chop this one towards short and that will bring in tommy crawley from third so the gubs have the lead minot though would answer right back in the top of the second inning tyler collins drives this ball go the other way making it a one to one contest the vistas would add another the next inning it's Kellen Burke. This is a grounder towards short. Krolik will retire the runner at third, but Adam Rodocker would score to give uh, the team the lead. It's the score will become four to one in the fifth, thanks to a deep ball from Burke. This one reaches the center field wall. That's a three RBI day for him. He stands up with a double as Minot goes on to win this game by the final of four to one and sweeping the day two to nothing in game two. West Region Baseball on the Class A side. This is their tournament. First two games will be uh, the Oilers winning over the uh, Metros. They'll play the Senators tomorrow. Beulah beats uh, Jamestown. So that means the, uh, the uh, Cyclones will play the Volunteers tomorrow. On the Road Again was a popular Willie Nelson song. It's also a good way to describe uh, Trace King's life during the baseball season. JT Verable has this week's Sports Spotlight. When it comes to baseball at Dwyer Field, Trace King is a difference maker. He's our leadoff hitter. Uh, he led off for the high school season. He's leading off this year, this summer. Uh, when he gets on base, we usually score runs. So and that's, that's the leadoff guy's job is to get on and then the other guys behind him knock him in. It's not just his game that sets him apart. It's the miles he covers just to play for the Skyhawks and the Capitals. Him being and uh, playing for, for the Skyhawks for three years uh, and for the Capitals for two years now, uh, that's five seasons of, of baseball where he's traveling an hour one way just to get to practice or games. And that dedication, that commitment speaks volumes to the type of kid that he is. And it shows out on the field when he goes and plays, he gives it everything he's got all the time. Uh, you know what you're going to get from him, consistency. Trace lives in Linton. He played basketball and football for the Lions. Well, baseball was my uh, favorite sport. And instead of playing summer, I felt like I needed to play spring ball too. So the only option was coming up to Shiloh. So that's just that's what we did. He thinks the hour drive to Bismarck for practice and games at Shiloh is well worth it. It's, it's really cool actually. Like it's a whole different group of kids. There's like, you got your friends in Linton and then you got your friends in Shiloh. It's just a, it's a good mix. It's, it's awesome. It's never easy being the new kid. When Trace first arrived, he was a little on the quiet side. King would adjust, eventually evolving into a team leader. Uh, he's not a rah-rah guy, but he, he goes out there and, and he shows you how to do it and do it right. And when people see that, they like to follow that because he has had some success and, and they want to, other kids want to be successful. The younger kids on our team look up to him and uh, he does a great job leading. That success would come in the form of being named to the All-State team for the past two seasons and leading Shiloh to a state tournament appearance this spring. That was always kind of the goal besides going to state is being named All-State and doing it with a few of my teammates too is always always a plus. So that really, that really meant a lot. The next stop in Trace's journey will take him to the College of Science in Wapaton where he plans to play baseball for the Wildcats. With the spotlight on Trace King, I'm Jay.